One of the biggest webtoon series got in trouble for racism. So long story short, Get Schooled is a series about bullying. Bullying is very big in Korea. Lots of series in the webtoon space and the manga space tackle bullying as their main topic, right? And Get Schooled in its newest chapter, chapter 125, decided to shift the conversation to the conflict between um, black and Korean, I guess, like racism that happens there. And so it's stuff pretty rough because you have this Ethiopian character that is being pretty racist to the Koreans, right, in this series, which happens in a, num- a number of other series like Kuroko no Basket did this where you had like, you know, outsiders from America that were being really racist to the Japanese. And so he's villainized, right, because he's the racist character. And so he's villainized. Um, technically, if they just stopped it there and you had like some character beat the crap out of this like uh, bully, then it would have been the exact same as Kuroko no Basket's racism loses you know everything is normal not sure if they had to use a black character for it though but anyway either way they went the complete opposite direction because uh the character who's supposed to be the good guy who's supposed to put down the bully the evil racist bully um and teach him a lesson right because the series is called get school you're teaching these bullies a lesson it's usually the teachers who are whipping these bullies into shape anyway the teacher comes up and then he drops a really bad word which blows my mind that this got published both in Korea and in the U.S., but the creators uh, released a little statement here, you know, apologizing, taking a hiatus, all that stuff, citing Korea as a homogeneous society, and that's why they, like, didn't really understand how hurtful their words were and all that stuff. Listen, I don't really know their intentions behind this, but all I know is that it was super unnecessary for the one character that was supposed to be good to say that word. So I was like, just kind of surprised and shocked. If you didn't know, Get Schooled was one of the most read webtoons. So it was a very popular series. And so I'm, you know, everyone's really surprised that it was just, yeah, just went in this totally different direction. And since then it's been taken off the market. So uh, you can't, you can't read it anymore. Exploring race was also something that I almost did for my own series, Samurai no Toro, because we have a black female um, character who is you know one of the top dogs in the entire series we decided against it because rather than putting down people and having them overcome it we thought it would just be better to just have this uh, character who obviously is a minority um, because it takes place in japan so she's a minority there overcoming like everyone right i don't know part of me thinks that there's just a lot better ways to address kind of like these sort of racist issues i mean i even address race a lot in my series just a goblin it's all about racism right all the main character is a goblin and he's discriminated against because he's a goblin and a monster right there's better ways to address racism and to address like you know conflicts than to just throw slurs at each other i don't know